and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here hi welcome um, my name is Brielle Montoya I am a stay-at-home mom and a mom to soon to be four <laughs> I've done this video like so many times each time I'm like I'm about to be a mom of two or three and now four it's just wild so today I'm going to do a little bump date which I kind of showed you I am about 30 weeks, <laughs> I think I'm 30 weeks exactly. Got the kids running around, the kids are homeschooled. I stay at home with them, so you will see and hear children in the background of uh, my video today. I'm gonna, I have my little list here. Boy names are definitely a lot harder, especially because I go with, I have a theme with my kids' names. So they're all four letters and they all end in an A. So definitely, I love short names. I didn't want to stick with the A ending. It just so happened that the first two ended in an A, and so with my third, I was like, I feel like I should just keep it going, and I actually ended up finding a name that I like that ended in an A, and so now I am just stuck with it. Mila, Ezra, and Luca. I named them those names like right before they started trending, so we named them like a year, I think Ezra, I named him like a year or two before the Ezra like trend. And then Mila, the same thing. Mila started becoming popular a couple of years after I named her that. And then Luca, he, I put a K in his just so it's a little bit different because Luca is definitely getting popular as well. And it sucks because those names, I've never met anybody with those names. And um, I just really liked them and I didn't realize how popular they were. So, oops. With this pregnancy, I do not know the gender, so I'm really hoping there's a girl because, I mean, I have a boy and a girl name picked out, so, um, for first and middle, and I have extra ones just in case those ones don't really fit because they always fit. Every time I see the baby, I'm like, that's their name, and I always feel it, but since I don't know the gender this time, like, I don't have that, like, this is their name feeling, and I look at the other kids, and I'm like, I'm like, okay, I'm, like, trying out the names on them. And like looking at their faces because all my kids look very much alike except their hair like my my first and my third they have the dark hair and then my um second he got like reddish hair and then it kind of like faded to a dark like a darker um i want to say it's like i want to say it's like a light brown with like hints of red in it it's like it's kind of hard to tell i'm like i always said he had like blonde hair like a reddish blonde hair and then it kind of like faded so i don't even know what color hair he is but all my kids look pretty similar, so I feel like I can, like, I'm looking at them, I'm like, I feel like those names would fit, but if they don't, I have backup names. These are names that I can, like, part with. I'm pretty positive that, like, that this is our last baby. You never know, because sometimes surprises happen. This was a surprise baby. Um, but you never know, because sometimes things just happen, even when you're super careful. <laughs> if they, that does happen, I have a whole separate list of things, like, a couple more girl names and I have like maybe one potential more boy name um so we will see the names that I have picked out are completely not popular at all um they're like not even in the top like 300 or something so they're definitely a lot more unique so let's get started so I'm gonna start with the girl names because I feel like if I had to say what do I feel like I'm having I feel like I'm having a girl um just from like not because it's similar to other pregnancy, like Mila's pregnancy, my first is a girl, and then my two middle kids are boys. But um, I feel like all my pregnancies were different in their own ways. But um, just how I'm feeling, like each time, like I kind of get this feeling of what I know, what I'm having, and um, I feel like it's a girl. So I'm gonna go with girls first. So the first name is Skyla or Skya. Well, I'll have them like on the screen right here. Um, I really like this name. I ha I know an influencer, Erin Williams, her daughter's name is Skyla, yeah. so I couldn't use that name. I've always followed her ever since she had her daughter, so I, that's what I think of when I think of Skyla. So I thought, I like Skya, which is really pretty, but I just don't picture myself with a Skya, so, or a Skyla, so, but they're both really pretty names. And then another name I have is Thea. I think Thea and Theo are really pretty, but for my husband, to him, Thea and Theo sound so much like Tia and Theo from like when he, when he, that's what he calls his aunts and uncles on his dad's side of the family. So he just, he was like, I can't do it. So I was like, okay, but I think it's really, really pretty. Next is Cove or Kova. I think these names are so pretty. I love Cove. I love like beach names. I've always loved nature names and beach names. I always think they're so cute, especially for middle names. And then another name that I think I added in Luca's 
um, baby name video, Priya. And oh, I just love the name Priya. I, I, if I ever had like three, two or three more kids and it was a girl, I definitely would use that one. Um, but we're not trying to have three more kids, so it's not gonna get used, but I think it's really pretty. I also like the name Ella. Ella's getting too popular. Um, Luna. Luna's really popular as well, but I think Luna is very pretty. It's very different, but it's getting popular. Aria, Cora, Nova, those are all really popular too. What else? Ayla. Ayla is another popular one. I love the la ending because my first, her name is Mila. And so I like the Mila, Ayla kind of flows. And then these ones, are not a ending um, story is so pretty with the IE I, I like it as a middle name and um, Maeve um, Maeve is really really pr pretty I like Mavis and calling them Maeve so those are like the girl names that I can just part with I've had on my list for since Luca <laughs> so I um, I'm parting with them okay so let's get on to the boys um, for the boys I have Ari I love Ari um, my husband thinks it's too feminine, but I think it's very sweet. Um, I love the name Oziah. Oziah is so cool. If I had like a couple more boys, I definitely would name one of them Oziah. Um, I like the name Aries. Aries is really cool. I like softer boy names that sound handsome, but also sound cutesy as like a boy, a little boy, like Zen. I've always loved the name Ben, like Benjamin Ben, um, but. Ben is obviously super popular, so I like Zen. I like the name Rome. I think Rome is really handsome. My husband likes the name Roman, and I was like, I want something a little bit shorter and nothing like too. I feel like Roman is a little more um, common than Rome, and I like. I just really like Roman. He actually likes it too. I like the name Rio. That's kind of way out there, but Rio is really cool. I love the three-letter names right now that are trending. Rio is really cool. Um, I like Lake. As a middle name for a boy lake is really cool i grew up going to the lake and fishing and everything so i feel like i would probably i would probably use it for a boy if i had a couple more boys um like as a middle name and then i like last i like i like noah without the h so noah n-o-a i think is really pretty i think it's also really cute for for a little girl too so um definitely that's a unisex for me for sure so that is all the names that i have for today um i hope that gave you a little bit of inspo for if you're having a baby or if you just love names and you need to add to your list um careful so yeah those are the ones that i can part with and i'm definitely going to be holding on to the names of this baby until the birth vlog so make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss the birth vlog I should be having this baby in the next like eight weeks. Um, I'm having another C-section, my fourth C-section. I'm gonna be scheduled somewhere around 38 weeks. Unless I'm having complications, then I will definitely have to go in sooner. Um, but yeah, you guys definitely don't wanna miss that, so stick around and make sure you're subscribed and give this video a big thumbs up if you thought this was helpful. And we will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye. Bye vlog. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>